The American Psychological Association reports a dramatic increase in college campus depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, alcohol abuse, eating disorders, and self-injury. What's causing the trend? This generation has not necessarily been given a lot of instruction in time management because this generation has had their time managed for them more than previous generations. They show up, they do what they're supposed to do, and then they go to the next thing. They're not actually managing their time. Their time is being managed for them. And then we drop them off at college, and bye-bye, and uh, good luck with your life. That is one of the real challenges for young people, is to take over their own self-management, take control of their lives when they get to college. And that is extremely stressful for young people who haven't really had to do that. And as college tuition increases, so does the financial burden of a college education. One of the things that's changed recently that might impact the mental health in college campus is um, one of the stressors of financial stressors. I think the college tuition has increased a lot in more than the average increase of household income. So there's a lot more financial stress to the family who send the, you know, students to college and a you know, student themselves. Clearly families want their young people to be successful. When they come to a place like this where they're making a substantial investment, regardless of who is paying or how it's being paid for, um, this represents a substantial investment and people want a return on investment and, and they use terms like that. Um, so I think there's a lot of pressure on them, but it's also the pressure to figure out who you are. I think it's maybe a, a function of where they're at developmentally. Lots of expectations, not only from their parents, but internal. Um, they feel like they should be the A student. Uh, they, their parents feel that way. And once they make it to college, that doesn't stop. They're coming in unprepared for what they're going to experience. Because I think what our uh, society thinks of as those college years, oh, it's going to be so much fun. It's also very stressful. And that, that's the thing that they're not preparing themselves well for. What practical tips can help? I think we're always looking forward. You know, what are we going to do next? You know, we're, so, we're overscheduled. And so to get them to slow down and to reflect and to breathe and be in the moment, that can really help them a lot. And people think, oh, you're teaching me how to breathe? Yeah, that's it. You know, that's one of those coping skills that you may not have gotten up until this point. Talking about it is always good. And finding a trusted friend, parent, RA. Colleges have many different um, safety nets built in parents are so underutilized. So picking up the phone and calling your mom or dad, that would be helpful. <laughs>